So, what's for today? Yes! First, I would just like to thank everyone na nanonood at patuloy na nanonood sa aking mga videos. Yes po, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you! So, as you can see on the title of this video, it's going to be the Australian Common Slang Words. So, ayun! <laughs> well, I've been here in Australia for about a year and nine months. So, it's going to be two years na, guys. Walang ubi to almost two years. And I just want to share yung mga natutunan ko words nila, basic words na ginagamit nila. And ayun, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo. I hope at the end of this video, may matutunan din kayo. Yun lang naman kasi yung gusto ko eh. Yung may mga natututunan tayo. Parehas tayo nag-grow. Ganaan. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not really an English teacher or I'm not really a professional when it comes to this. But still, I'm going to try my best na ma-share sa inyo yung ganito. So, I hope, yun, I hope this video would help you understand Australians when they speak a near language. So, ayun. Um, let's start. Let's begin. Let's start with... Let's start with... Straya. Straya is... Australia! Yes! Australia! So, for example, how long have you been here in Australia? So, how long have you been here in Australia? Well, uh... <laughs> Kailangan ka pala magbigay ng example. Ano po? Uh, yes. Sige, I'll try my best to give some examples. Next is Aussie. Aussie is the people who are living or residing here in Australia. The resident here, and basically it's like Australian. It's just the short term for Australian. Aussie. If we Filipinos are called Pinoy, then they're called like Aussie. So cute, Aussie. Next is good eye. Good eye is like good day or hi, hello. Uh, good eye, mate. How can I help you, mate? When you go to the stores and everything. Good day, mate. Mate is an informal word of saying friend or a pal or beshi ganyan. Like brother, ganon. Uh, most of the Australians are cutting or eliminating words and they're adding O oh at the end of it. For example, avo. Avo is avocado. Yes, avo. Like, do you still got some avo in the fridge? Do we still got some avocado in the fridge? Next is arvo. Arvo. Or avo. Arvo. It's like, do you have any plans this arvo? Arvo is afternoon. <laughs> well, when I encountered this word, talaga din first ko siyang narinig, I was just like, what? Where did it came from? Like, Afternoon, Arvo, yeah, yeah, you search it in the in Australian English, like, Arvo, afternoon. Anyways, that's how they say it, Arvo, like, uh, let's go hang out this Arvo, let's go hang out this afternoon, Arvo. Next is Ambo, Ambo is an ambulance, um, for example, I have seen a lot of Ambo outside. Is there any accident nearby? Ambo. Ambulance. Next is Bottolo. Bottolo is a bottle shop or a liquor shop. Or where you anywhere where can you buy alcohol? Yeah. So tindahan ng mga alcohol ganyan. Ng mga pang inon. So bottle shop or liquor shop. For example, I need to go to the bottle law this weekend to buy some wine. Bottle law. Next is Devo. Devo. Devo is like devastated. So 
I broke my phone yesterday. I'm really devil. I'm really devastated. I broke my phone last night. That's it, devil. Next is a. Oh, before I forgot, they call Filipinos as Philo. Philo. So, do you have any Philo party this coming weekend? No, we don't have. <laughs> Wala kaming batuhan ng unan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, do you have any Filipino party this weekend? So, Filo. Or, like, what Filo food can you can you recommend? Like, what Filipino food can you recommend? Filo. Next is a Barbie. A Barbie is not a doll. It's not a doll. Not a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. No. A Barbie is a barbecue. <laughs> yes, a Barbie is a barbecue. Uh, let's have some Barbie this weekend. Let's have some barbecue this weekend. S snag. Snag is a sausage. So, do we have some snack for the Barbie? Do we have some sausage for the barbecue? Yes. Come on. Oh my gosh. Next is a... What's next? Next is a brawly. Brawly is umbrella. Yes, it's raining outside. You have some brawly. Brawly umbrella. Uh, Siggy. Siggy is a cigarette. So, do you have some Siggy? Do you have some cigarette? Like that. Next is a brekkie. Brekkie is a breakfast. Do you want to grab some brekkie before you go to work? Do you want to grab some breakfast before you go to work? Brekkie. What's next? Buck. Buck or bucks. Like, buck is a dollar. So, do you have five bucks? Do you have five dollars? Can I borrow 20 bucks? Can I borrow 20 dollars? Buck or bucks is a dollar. <laughs> next is this one. Mm. Next is Maccas. Maccas is McDonald's. Yes, guys, McDonald's. It's like McDonald's in Philippines. Tambayan. <laughs> Anyways, Maccas. They call it here as Maccas. Hey, let's go grab some food in Maccas. Maccas. McDonald's. Woolworths. But they call it here as Woolies. Cute. I don't know how they spell the bullies, but bullies, bullies. <laughs> next, next is Pash. Pash. So, did you see the couple passion? Did you see the couple kissing? It's really cute, like Pash. Next is hips. Hips. Hips is not the hips, but hips. Hips is a lot or loads. So. For example, there are heaps of apples. Why are you going to buy another one? So there are lots of apples. There's are, there are loads of apples. Why are you going to buy another one? Heaps. Ne or you can say, I've got heaps of things to do. I can't join you. I've got a lot of things to do. I can't join you. That's it. Next is reckon. Reckon. Or it's like I reckon when it's informal, it's like I think, I guess, I, 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 I suppose. So, for example, I reckon we still got some food in the fridge. Like I think we still got some food in the fridge. I reckon. Next is next. Good on you. Good on you is like good on you. Good job. Like good work. Uh, for example, I passed my exam yesterday. Good on ya! But then, you can also say sarcastically like, you can't reach something and then you're just going to say, Ha! Good on ya! Like, puti nga sayo! Ganun. Good on ya! Next is... Next is a chemist shop. Well, here they say it's chemist store, chemist warehouse chemist shop but I think in US they say like drugstore pharmacy in the Philippines it's butika yeah 
and also they call it here as a rubber rubber is an eraser it's like pambura pambura ng ala ala mga besh just kidding pambura like eraser here it's a rubber rubber next thongs thongs is not the thongs we're using in the kitchen but thongs is a flip-flops or chinelas that's it chinelas uh, next is a rubbish rubbish tin rubbish tin is a trash tin or garbage garbage can or basurahan basura basurahan next is a tea towel tea towel i think in the u.s they call it as dish towel uh here in australia they call it as tea towel or basahan basahan yes so what else what else um youth they call it here as youth but in u.s i think they call it as truck yeah and so here we call it as lift in u.s they call it elevator well i think because they were colonized by the british so imagine adapt nila yung british um english so meron mga, in mga australian english talaga so itong mga shiner ka sa inyo it's just the basic like i've shared the basic words na i hope na may natutunan kayo so i think yun lang muna for today and malay nyo may part to to pag aralan ko pa lalo and Actually, I have a dictionary, Australian dictionary, and malay nyo, pag browse browse ko, next video, it, I mean, may part 2 um, video na to, and I'm going to share yun, iba pang mga words that na ginagamit nila. And the proper way of saying it, like a good example of it, yes. Pero for the meantime, ayun lang muna ang share ko for, for today, and I hope may natutunan kayo. I earned. So, if may mga suggestions pa kayong content, please, please, mag-comment lang kayo or message nyo ako kung ano mga gusto nyo pong matutunan. Yun! And, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Ayun! I hope you enjoy. I hope talaga na may natutunan kayo. Kasi, that's yun yung gusto ko sa YouTube channel ko. Na, like, at least in every video, may matutunan tayo. Both of us. Yes! Ganun. Gusto ka ay, we've learning something. Yes! Mm -mm, ganun. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you.